Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Okay. Here are some cards for today. And I ha I hear like Spanish and I don't speak Spanish. It's close enough to Italian that I know that it is Spanish though. So I don't know if something might be going on in Spain or Mexico or uh, one of the countries that, that has a dominant uh, Spanish speaking population. So I would be just aware of that if you're in one of those countries and you're watching this. I, there could be some kind of eruption. There could be some kind of earth event or there could be something in that regard going on. So just be aware of that. Or it could just be, <laughs> it would be less likely, but it could just be a, a family argument in Spanish. It could be something like that. So I'm putting it out here because we're sharing this together. Okay. We have the 10 of coins. We have the Three of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, there are a few different scenarios that could be going on here. For some of you, you're going through something here that you're just going to need to take the time to grieve. And I would say grieve until the day you get up and you realize that you don't need the tissues anymore and you feel really good and the sun, you see it again. That's just the natural process of things. Allow yourself that time to do that. So that's one scenario. The other scenario is that something at some point um, has run its course. This could be something as simple as a job that you've got um, and you keep asking for something, you keep asking you know, for this or for that and you're getting railroaded by somebody. That's what the Three of Swords could mean too. You're getting mixed signals here from something. Um, Others of you, you know, there's there's a um, there's a pickiness, there's a nitpickiness, there's a there's just a like a it just I don't even know how to nicely say it, but cut back a little bit. It, for some of you, you're really um, up the butt of somebody else, and it doesn't need to be like that. Right. I think that for some of you, too, your kids are giving you a run for your money right now. Um, I think there is for some people, there is a relationship here that has a really strong love attachment in it. Right. It's just, again, that three of swords comes up and it says we're not seeing eye to eye right now. And someone may not be as verbal about something that's been under the surface for a while you it will come to the surface and um it will come to the surface i would say here be conscious if this is a one-on-one -on -one relationship or any kind of relationship be conscious that you're both people and you both have feelings and i'm not preaching here i'm just saying this could come out like a volcano and Again, if you've watched my channel long enough, you know I'm a big advocate of it never is really about what it is. So the thing that causes the eruption or the nitpickiness or the, you know, whatever irresponsibility on one person's part or how this certain thing isn't providing what it used to. With the 10, it's going to change anyway. It's got to change. It's either going to go forward or it's going to dissolve or it's going to go in a different direction or it's going to bob and weave or it's going to do nothing for the moment. But the three of swords is literally a blockage with a sword in the middle for a, a reason. It's a delay. It's saying, let's just take a minute here because something isn't copacetic. We need to address this, right? The personality type on the outbound is... A very it's a it's a it's a romantic young energy but in a situation like this it's a it could be a lack of um, I don't want to say maturity it's just there's just a different energy it's a lighter energy opposed to something that's heavier. You know what I mean? It would be like a dynamic, like trying to explain to your kid, your teenage kid, something about how they should, how they should act like, you know, say a 40 year old would act. They're not going to do it. It's just not their season in life to do it that way. So whatever dynamic this is playing out for you, there's that mismatch there. So 
it doesn't mean that your relationship is skewed in that kind of way. It just means that you're expecting someone to behave like this and they're looking at you from their eyes and there's a mismatch here. So I would say here that you're getting mixed signals here about something and something that provided a foundation in a certain particular way for you is changing, but everything changes, right? So if this is something that has uh, dissolved or is dissolving, allow yourself this time to, t to grieve this. Um, it could be a job too where, you know, you got the thing, you have the thing, you're working at the thing, but the, the, the goal keeps moving. You know what I mean? Like it's not, it's requiring a lot more from you than you thought it would. And it's becoming very heavy. You know what I mean? It could be impacting different parts of your life too. So this is really just a reading that's saying that something has become heavy. It's not become enjoyable. It can actually be with the three of swords, how your perspective on it is impacting it, right? Take a minute back with that three, because that is the roadblock that's saying, let's just sit for a minute and let's get our, our head in place where it needs to be. And let's breathe some new life back into this. You know what I mean? It's a, it's, we want to take the heaviness off the table and make something a little bit lighter here. Um, that's what I've got. Um, I think indecision um, or a, a way, again, where something hasn't been finalized yet. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the worrying part for me in this is that I feel like a pressure underneath that's been building for a long time. So how this gets presented to you <laughs> may not be as light as I'm making this out to be. It may have some kind of forked tongue to it. So again, I'm trying to remind you that once it's out of your mouth, you can't take it back. So try to think about how you, you know, being on both sides of the coin here, just be, be kind, be diplomatic and get your resolution that way. Um, the Knight of Cups card is a passion card, and passion card it does not come from Mercury. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't come from Venus. It comes from Mercury. Mercury is in Virgo. It's a very diplomatic, problem-solving place. So that's what leads me to believe that if you think something isn't where it is and it, you haven't ended it yet, there could be a resolve here. It's all in how you handle it and your perspective on it. And I would take the blessing of this three of swords here and just take a step back and remember why you got in this situation in the first place. Think back to that and think about where the train has gone off the track and maybe where it just needs some more attention, right? So this is going to play out different for everyone because it's a, it's just a, it's a, there's no specifics here to you. So again, if something has ended here, mourn it. Give yourself that respect to to do that, to mourn it until the day you don't anymore. And that is on your timeline. Nobody else's. For some of you, I would say if you have things that are constantly jumping around, say you want to do something to get a, these are great energies too, to, for, uh, people that are poetic, for writers, for, um, anyone that's got to put some really outside broad perspective on something, right? If you've got a project that you're doing and your work has become a little bit mundane at work, you may not get an answer right away about a go project that you're thinking about, you know, initiating, but you will eventually get it. I would put it out on the table as an option, or if it's a project you're thinking about doing, but there's too many variables, hone it in and then go for it, right? These are great energies for that. They can go a many, many different ways, but there is something under the surface in all of it. And that's what I'll say. So either you're not following your desires and your pilot light is about to go out or just 
take out the whole block or you're just not enthusiastic about things. I would suggest with that and the Knight of Cups on the outbound, check where that train went off the track and then, you know, try this, try this, try this and get it back. Get your momentum going, right? To the Ten of Cups, Ten of Coins can be a card where um, you just don't feel like you fit into the place where you live anymore or you don't fit into this job anymore or you don't your style has changed or anything like that. But it's been something that is not new. It's something that has been thought about, but now it's gonna there's gonna be action taken here. Um, the Three of Swords can be a, a hard card to swallow because it's having to realize these things about yourself. But honestly, who gives a shit? Just acknowledge them. You're human. And then go from there where you want to take it. So that's what I would say. Um, but the 10 is already happening. The part to come or that's in the middle here that needs some resolve is that three of swords. But the outbound is the knight of cups. So you will get your fire back. You will get your zest for life back. People are drawn to you to this personality type because you're enthusiastic, you're happy, you're joyful. If you're watching this and thinking, no, I'm 10 pounds overweight. I haven't colored my hair. You know, I mean, I've let my, you know, all of this kind of stuff go. Who cares? Chip away with it. Get your zest back. Go do something for yourself to make yourself feel better, right? Sometimes life just kicks your ass. And the three of swords is just, I'm under this you know, make a decision to get out from under it, get your zest for life back, go treat yourself to something, go read something, go, go do something else to get your mind off of this. You know what I'm saying? And then figure out how can I make this a little bit more enjoyable? How can I make this better? How can I see another person's perspective or how I just can't, and this has to go. You know what I mean? It can be something like that too. <laughs> this is a scenario and I don't laugh, but I see it more times than not where people get into relationships while they have a full plate, like a, their busiest time at work, they'll go and start a relationship and it turns into a hellfire is kind of what can happen here. This could be something like this. So how maybe then do you need to rearrange your work schedule to accommodate this? Or is this does this person fit into my lifestyle long term? These are all, this is a question searching kind of reading, right? Where you want to ask yourself these questions here. The, the 10 of coins too can be a card that's constantly chasing something. Then you get it and it's not providing um what the the serenity the peace the you know the security that you thought it would so you're now going to chase this or this or this it's a honing in is all the three of swords is and it's just getting out from under two old patterns if this is something that you do right old patterns become habits and then they become second nature so tweak them a little bit that's all okay that's what i've got i hope that it helped you in some way have a fantastic day guys